Hi guys, hope you're all okay. It's Chantelle. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a really fun sort of video. I'm going to show you some fragrances that I think are really good if you're going to like a theme park, a carnival or some sort of fun fair. Now the reason why I'm doing this video today is it's my little boy Cole's 12th birthday tomorrow and we went to Alton Towers, which is a really big theme park here in the UK this past weekend. And we had such a fun time. The kids absolutely loved all the rides and it was just a really great family day out. So I took two fragrances with us because we stopped overnight. And I thought they were like really good picks. They're quite fun and happy sort of fragrances and they definitely give us that sort of theme park vibe so i'm going to show you those and i'm also going to show you some other ones that i think are fantastic for that sort of carnival fun fair theme park type of vibe so let's get straight into it the first one i'm going to start with is the one i took for through the day when we were at Alton Towers. And it's one that my two boys absolutely love. It is such a fun and uplifting, happy type of fragrance. And it's called Girls Can Be Crazy by Zadig and Voltaire. Now, this fragrance is like a Coca Cola type of fragrance. It's got a Coca Cola note in there, and that is what really stands out. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, if you haven't tried this one before, I would really, really recommend sampling it because it's such a good one. It's quite fun, it's super, super happy. Definitely makes us think of like carnivals, fairs. And like all the fizzy drinks you get and like my boys love like Coca-Cola slush and that's sort of what this reminds me of. But I wouldn't say it's like a cold type of Coca-Cola fragrance. It's got a bit of a warmness in there and it's quite comforting in a way. And I just think it smells so, so good. As you can see, I've worn this quite a bit. I really, really enjoy it. And this was like the most perfect pick for through the day at Alton Towers. The only thing is there was loads of wasps and they just like really came for us. And I think this sort of drew attention to us. It really is quite sweet and syrupy. And yeah, I was getting attacked by wasps all day, which isn't what you want, but I did smell good. So, Girls Can Be Crazy by Zadig and Voltaire. Such a good, fun sort of fragrance. Love that one. And the second fragrance that I took, which I mainly took for like the night time, and it's one that I adore. And it gives us like a real cosy, comforting sort of vibe. And I always want to feel like comforted when I'm away from home. I'm a total home bird. I love me home. I just love spending time at home. I love it. And when I'm away, I do sometimes miss it, which sounds really crazy, but I do. So this one was a good one for the night time. It's Montal Chocolate Greedy. And this just reminds us of all the chocolate goodies that you get at like a fun fair. It smells really beautiful. It's got an orange note in the top and it does just smell like a sort of, you know, like the Terry's chocolate oranges you can get. It smells like you've melted that chocolate and spread it on like a biscuit because this has got like a little bit of like a biscuity vibe going on but it just smells like a chocolate orange covered biscuit you smell like an absolute snack and it's so so good i think it smells amazing this is actually cole's favorite fragrance one of them anyway he loves this one and i really think that men adore 
like very sweet and chocolatey sort of fragrances and this just smells so so good so i was happy to take this and i really really enjoyed wearing it even though it's been quite hot here in the uk obviously at night time it cools down a little bit and this still smelled amazing at night and i would say that it is mainly more of a winter time fragrance but i got away with wearing it on the night time here in the uk and i just absolutely adore this one so chocolate greedy by montal gorgeous long lasting super snuggly and cozy fragrance beautiful then i've got two by sol de janeiro and these just are like an absolute sweet treat in a bottle and i think they smell so so good they're quite affordable for what they are the last on your skin and they just smell amazing the first one is brazilian crush Chirosa 62 this smells exactly the same as the brazilian bum bum cream which i adore as well and layering this with the bum bum cream is just an absolute match made in heaven it really prolongs the length of the fragrance and honestly you smell like an absolute snack all day long it's so so good but this to me is like a caramelly sort of popcorn type of smell it really has a popcorn vibe to me and it does remind us of like getting popcorn at a fun fair and all the smells around you like the cotton candy and oh it just smells so so good you cannot go wrong with this it's got a little bit of like a beachy vibe to it so it does remind me of like the summertime but i love this one all year round it just smells so so good another one by sol de janeiro is the brazilian crush Chirosa 71 now this is the one with caramelized vanilla and macadamia and this again smells like popcorn caramel but in a total different way to this one i would say this smells more of a wintertime fragrance it reminds me of like christmas and all the goodies that you get around christmas time so this one reminds me also of like christmas fairs and mm, i just love it i think it's beautiful it's got like a real nutty vibe to it and again it just always makes me think of like it makes us think of like a sort of creme brulee with like a caramel over the top of it that's the sort of vibe i get from it but such a good one for like fun fairs carnivals all that jazz beautiful beautiful fragrances i would highly highly recommend the sol de janeiro body mists because honestly these fragrances last longer than some of my perfumes so such good buys love them then we've got an absolute classic it was the first ever gourmand so it had to be in this list it's the gorgeous angel by moogler now this is an older version and i adore it so so much it's a whole mashup of notes but it's very gourmand it's got a sort of edible vibe to it it's got patchouli in there there's chocolate i think there's caramel in there or like a toffee note Mm, it just smells so so good there's candy floss in there as well and it just smells amazing and this one is straight up like carnival vibes with all like your candy floss and stuff like that and like you know like the big lollipops you can get and like the sugar dummies this has got a real sugary vibe to it but in an elegant sort of mature way this one is an absolute love it or hate it type of fragrance 
if you haven't smelled it where have you been you need to get your nose on it whether you're a person that absolutely loves it or absolutely hates it it's one that you've got to try out and this has been a staple in my collection for years and years and i just adore it this lasts on your skin forever it needs scrubbed off maybe not so much the most current version but the version i've got honestly it lasts so so long the current version probably isn't as good it has lost its identity a little bit but it's still a good fragrance and it to me it's still better than quite a lot of the other designer releases that are coming out at the moment because my gosh i don't know what's going on but yeah absolute classic must have to try and i adore it so yeah angel by moogla then we've got one that reminds me of like summer fairs you know like when you have like the coconuts and you've got to hit the coconut to win it and you used to drink from the straw like the coconut water and this fragrance reminds me exactly of that it's from DKNY, it's a Be Delicious range and this one's Coconuts About Summer. It was last year's like limited edition release and it smells like straight up coconut water to me. I just think it smells exactly like coconut water. It's got that sort of watery vibe to it it's lovely i love this one i think it's so refreshing and if you like coconut fragrances it's such a good one i'm not sure if you can still get it i haven't checked for a little while but what i've got to say is my youngest little boy hendrix he adores this fragrance and this is the fragrance that he always asks for a little spritz i just spritz it on his clothes he loves the smell of this one. I think it's just like that coconut vibe that he loves. And this is what he always smells like because he always wants it on. And to me, it just reminds me of him now. But yeah, it's a really nice watery type of coconut fragrance. And do you know what? It lasts quite a while on your skin and especially if you spray it like on your clothes i always spray into my hair as well i know you're not really meant to but i always do because i find it lasts a really long time but yeah this is such a good fun sort of coconut fragrance so love that one and last but not least is another stunning designer fragrance that i love so so much i think it's amazing and this one gives me sort of carnival vibes but this is going to sound weird but near me on bonfire night we have like a big display and we've got like a little fair up there and i love it and we go every year and the kids love it and you can always smell like the candy floss and like sugared apples you know like the um toffee apples and like chocolate covered apples and like all the good sweet treats sugar coated donuts jam donuts oh i love it right and i love that time of the year like bonfire night and like on the run up to christmas like that's my sort of favorite time of the year anyway this fragrance reminds me of like a fair on bonfire night and it's flower bomb nectar by victor and rolf this is oh, such a beautiful sweet jammy sort of candy like fragrance mm, it smells so so beautiful it's like a one of my friends here on YouTube, Sam, she said that this one reminded her of like jam donuts, strawberry jam donuts. And 
every time I smell it now, that's what I get. It really does smell like sort of fresh, sugary jam donuts. And I adore it. I think it's so, so good. And this one's got a gunpowder note. And I think that's what makes me think of like bonfire night and all the firework displays and the fair and just like fun times and this one again lasts so long on the skin it's a compliment getter people seem to really gravitate towards you when you're wearing this one i think it's just so fun and sweet but it's got a twist to it with that gunpowder note it does smell very very unique and i just adore it this is definitely my favourite by Victor and Rob. Such a good one. If you haven't checked it out, I'd really, really recommend it. So that's my last recommendation. Flower Bomb Nectar by Victor and Rob. Now, let me know in the comments what sort of fragrances make you think of like fun fairs, carnivals and theme parks, things like that. I feel quite hungry after that, this video. I just want to eat something sweet and chocolatey. But yeah, definitely let me know your favourite type of fun fair fragrance. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd absolutely love it if you think about doing so. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you all very, very soon on the next one. Bye.